Welcome back to Learning English Pro. This week we are covering some essential business English. This video is perfect for anyone working in business who wants to advance their understanding of everyday English used in the work environment. Business English leaves behind slang and casual words for a more precise and some might say sophisticated way to speak. In this lesson, you will learn 10 essential terms, which will include adjectives, nouns, verbs, phrases, and lots of examples and definitions. Don't forget to check out the extensive word list in the description. Okay, if you're ready, sit back, relax, and let's learn some business English together. Let's get started with our first word, which is commercial. Now, commercial is an adjective and a noun, but we're going to take a look at the adjective definition first. As an adjective, commercial describes things concerned with or engaged in commerce, or things that make or are intended to make a profit. Our first example sentence is, they have a commercial agreement. They have a commercial agreement. With this adjective, it is common to see the terms commercial products or commercial property. Let's move on and take a look at the noun definition of commercial, and it means a television or radio advertisement. And our example sentence is, I saw the car on a TV commercial. I saw the car on a TV commercial. Our next business term is public relations. And this is a practice of understanding the purpose of an organization and its relationship within society. We can also say it is the planned and sustained activity of engagement between these two parties to influence behavioral change and build mutual understanding and trust. Public relations is often abbreviated to PR. This is quite a common term to use. We could say Rachel works in the public relations department or we could say Rachel works in the PR department. PR is a well-known abbreviation in English. The public relations for the company has been a disaster. The public relations for the company has been a disaster. The company has very good PR. The company has very good PR. Our next term is headquarters. And this common noun means the premises serving as the managerial and administrative center of an organization. And just like public relations, this word can be abbreviated to HQ. Let's take a look at some synonyms we can use for headquarters. Head office and main office are probably the two most common synonyms used. Base, mission control and nerve center are good too, but they are a little bit more military with their association. Let's take a look at our example sentence. Their headquarters are located in Paris. Their headquarters are located in Paris. Okay, it's time to move on to our next word, which is agenda. This common noun has a few different meanings, so let's run through them. Our first definition of agenda is a list of items to be discussed at a formal meeting, so it can be an actual physical list. We could say, we have many things on the agenda for today's meeting. Our next definition of agenda is a plan of things to be done or problems to be addressed. So it's more like a general plan for the short to medium term future. Our agenda for the next few months is to hire some new people. And our final definition of agenda is the underlying intentions or motives of a particular person or group. And our final sentence example is, his agenda for the company seems to be very reasonable. So with this definition, it's more like a personal plan that someone has for something. If you have an agenda, you will need a strategy. A strategy is a plan of action designed to achieve a long-term or overall aim. Our sentence example is, the company's strategy is to reduce their prices. 
the company's strategy is to reduce their prices. The verb form of this word is to strategize, meaning to devise a plan or strategy. We could say the PR department strategized the new media campaign. The PR department strategized the new media campaign. Our next word is the common noun penalty. The definition of penalty is a punishment imposed for breaking a law, rule or contract. The company received a penalty from the tax office. The company received a penalty from the tax office. Synonyms which are often used instead of penalty are punishment, sanction or fine. Related to this word, we also have the past participle penalized. And this means to be subject to a penalty or punishment. We have been penalized by the government. One more time. We have been penalized by the government. If you're enjoying this video, you should check out the other videos on my channel relating to business English, money and banking. The links for those are on screen right now. Our next business English term is the common noun dress code. This is a set of rules about what clothing may and may not be worn in a given setting, like the workplace or school. Some of the more common dress codes include formal wear, which includes business attire and suits. A dress code which is becoming more popular in the modern workplace is smart casual. This is where you mix smart wear like shirts with casual wear like jeans. And some workplaces will even have a casual dress code. This means that you can wear pretty much anything that you like. But there are lots of different settings and lots of different types of dress codes. From medical settings to school, religion, construction and much, much more. Moving on, our next business English term is the common noun market research. This describes the action or activity of gathering information about consumers' needs and preferences. Our market research has shown that most of our customers are over 20 years of age. Our market research has shown that most of our customers are over 20 years of age. We are conducting market research to understand our customers better. We are conducting market research to understand our customers better. Let's move on and our next word is a regular verb, authorize. The definition is to give official permission for or approval to an undertaking. We could say, I will authorize the release of the report. I will authorize the release of the report. Or we could say, Joanne authorized the payment last week. Joanne authorized the payment last week. Related to this word, we also have the common noun authorization. This involves the process of giving someone permission to do or have something. We received the authorization last week. We received the authorization last week. You may know our next word, branch, as relating to trees, but we also have a business English definition. Our definition is a branch or office of a large business or organization operating locally or having a particular function. So think of a bank having its headquarters in London and then having lots of different branches around the world. Our sentence example is, the company director will visit our branch in Dublin next week. The company director will visit our branch in Dublin next week. Or we could say, do you have a branch in Madrid? Do you have a branch in Madrid? In business English, we also have the phrase to branch out. And this means to extend or expand one's activities or interests in a new direction. Our sentence example is, we intend to branch out and expand our range of products. We intend to branch out and extend our range of products. 
If this is your first time visiting my channel, Learning English Pro, you're very welcome to my channel. My name is Jer. I'm narrating your lesson today. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more fantastic English learning content. The link to subscribe to my channel is on screen right now, along with some video suggestions for you. Don't forget to check out the extensive word list for all the words covered in today's video. And in the description is also links to my social media. That just leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day and remember, keep learning English like a pro.